Let's hope we see the Hollow Gardens again, and I told you I'd be back. So, I'm just going to give you a panorama. Um, you're going to hear some noise because Mark the Maker is making things over there. But I just wanted to show you quick what I harvested. These are the beets. Yes, they're small. But I'm going to use them anyway, and I always use the tops. And these are the turnips, and I definitely will be putting these turnip bottoms in with these turnip greens. So that's lunch. And then, these are my patty pan squash. These seeds were a gift from Jim Polarczyk, brother to Gary Polarczyk of the Rusted Garden. I ended up with only one good mini zucchini, a handful of cherries, and a handful of kale. So, going to have some kind of greens and some roots for lunch. And I'll probably add the squash in tomorrow and um, saute that with an egg or an onion for breakfast. But I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this harvest. And some of this will go to the church um, tomorrow morning to share with my congregation. So even though it's not a big harvest, I will let them have first choice and whatever's left, I will keep. And I've only got about four of these patty, five of these patty pans because I got one little teeny one. I don't know if you guys can see down there. It didn't look great. But I took it off before it was a little bit shiny and soft. It's not soft, it's shiny, which I thought was a different texture, so I thought I'll chop that up in the eggs before it goes bad. And since this little zucchini had to blossom on it, I thought I'd give you guys a shot of that. But that's what I harvested today off out of this little container and the big bed. And I still haven't put my row cover over there. But I'm waiting for Mark the Maker to get done building. He does not like to be interrupted. Once he's done, we'll get that row cover, floating row cover on. So, Millie the Muskrat or Gary the Gopher, whichever one it is that's eating things like it's my buffet over here, can't do that anymore. So next week I have some more kale for me because over there is my dwarf curly kale from Paula and Red Russian. I have some out at the um, Big Fat American allotment. And we have a little bit at the... St. Irenaeus Community Garden, which is not my church, but it's a uh, church here in town that Mark and I volunteer and help them with because they feed into the local food pantry. So as these wonderful squash plants start producing more, I'll be able to share with them more. I may end up um, taking them a couple of these anyway. I mean, it's only a couple, but something. Every little bit helps, right? So that's the harvest for today. And I honestly could do a video every day this time of year, but I won't because that's just too much work. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. You know the SOP. Like, share, subscribe, and come back for the next one. If you ring the subscription bell, you'll know when that will be. As always, happy gardening and blessings of bounty to you and yours.